welcome back i want to show you how i melt and color my white chocolate for dripping on the cake including my dark chocolate how i melt it and how i dripped this particular cake you see how beautiful it looks this is one secret i use in making sure my cake does not move in transit and i'll be showing that also so keep watching if you want to melt white chocolate for drips and also add any color you desire shred it into tiny pieces this makes it melt faster you need to use a double boiler method and you make sure that the bowl is not touching the hot water just the water simmering and you want to add a little bit of shortening into it or vegetable oil vegetable shortening or vegetable oil and you want to continue stirring this you don't want the chocolate to seize so keep stirring from time to time and when you notice that it's getting too hot maybe the pot is getting too hot you lift it up a little bit and continue stirring white chocolate is temperature sensitive i mean it's very very sensitive so you have to be careful of the temperature you're using unlike dark chocolate that is more forgiving so keep on stirring until it's dissolved and if you notice that it's too thick you had a little drop of your vegetable oil or a little bit of shortening so i'm adding this vegetable oil into it because i want to use this chocolate to drip on a cake and i'm also going to color it which i'll show you shortly so just keep on stirring stirring till everything and all the lumps are all gone so now if you want to use your chocolate on your board maybe you want to use it to stick your cake to your board you can just add a little bit more oil to this consistency and you're good to go but since i'm not using this for my cake board or to stick a cake to my board i'm just going to add in some more vegetable oil please add in your vegetable oil gradually and you want to keep on stirring this i'll add in a little bit more vegetable oil and keep stirring i prefer to use vegetable oil to shorten when it comes to chocolate drips so you want to put it back on the heat if you notice that it's cold and just allow it warm up a little bit just keep adding the vegetable gradually and make sure you mix it properly until everything is properly incorporated like this it's important to use an oil based color and if possible use a deeper shade so that you can get the shade you desire quickly so i start by adding a few drops and i go gradually till i get the shade i need just in case you want to make a pastel shade you can just add a little bit you know and you're fine unlike if you had too much of the color and then you can't take away the deepness or how dark the color is so just add it in bits like this stir it in make sure everything is properly incorporated and you achieve the very shade that you desire so i'm almost at the shade i want i was just trying to show you so you can see how it will just keep you know absorbing and giving you the shade you, you desire this is the shade i'm going for and i'll use it on the cake so for dark chocolate is more forgiving but you can also shred it the way i did the white chocolate to make it faster now you're also going to repeat it use a double boiler method make sure the the bowl with the chocolate or the pot with the chocolate is not touching the water and you know even without adding any oil or shortening or any milk or anything to this chocolate you can see that it's already beginning to melt so you can add you you know just assist the chocolate by pressing it with your spoon until everything is properly dissolved before adding in your oil or you can just add a little drop of oil into your pot you know while you're melting the chocolate that also makes it melt really fast without burning your chocolate and ruining it i'll be using this chocolate for my board so i'm not going to go ahead and add too much oil because i'm not dripping but if you want to use it for a chocolate drip then you keep adding the oil until you get that consistency that is not too watery but not too thick that can drip on the sides of your cake okay conveniently so for this i'm just going to add a little bit oil to it because i want to use it on my cake but to stick the cake and i'm i'm already good if you want to add a little bit more oil it's fine but for me i'm okay just mixing the oil properly so it's properly incorporated add a little bit of chocolate on your board you can do less than this but it depends on how high your cake is it depends on how wide your cake is so all you need to do is place your cake on it i'm using a red velvet oil based cake here and i'm just going to apply a little pressure to stick it to the board and you see that immediately you stick it in a few seconds it's ready and it's not even going to fall so the grip is intact you can also use your white chocolate for the same procedure but this had been melted and i left it for a while and it got firm all you need to do is take it back to the double boiler and allow it get a bit softened a bit it will get runny apply it on the board 
you can see the consistency just make sure you follow the shape of the cake you want to use and then place your cake on it immediately press it firm to stick you can see after layering the cake i'm shaking it right now and it's not shaky it's not wobbly so for the chocolate drip that i made and colored i'll just drip it around the side of this cake you can drip it you know one after the other like this or you can drip it on the tip or on the edge of the cake just drip it on the edge of the cake gradually like i'm doing right now i need to give you this particular design so whichever one works for you this is how the cake turned out if you enjoyed watching or you learned a thing or two please drop a comment and like this video i'll see you in my next video bye guys